Mary J. Blige is spilling a little more tea on her marriage ending with Kendu Isaac. Tony Scott here. We'll look at Tony's tea, some entertainment headlines that grab my attention today. Mary J. Blige said before that she was disrespected. That was all she would say about her marriage ending. Well, now she's spilling a little bit more tea, saying, and I'm quoting here now, I was getting things here and there, but I didn't have no full proof. But when I got the full proof, I didn't have to investigate. It just showed up. She also has said publicly, no way in hell, Kendu's getting $100,000 a month. <laughs> that, I think we can take to the bank. Pun intended. Ro James put Peter Thomas of the Real Housewives of Atlanta on blast for not paying him for New Year's Eve gig at Peter's Club, Club One in Charlotte, North Carolina. He blasted him on social media pretty good, and Peter Thomas's response was just two words. No, not those two words. He said, call me. And a friend of Ed Hartwell's girlfriend says that Ed Hartwell's girlfriend, Tanya Carroll, was trying to find drugs to cause Keisha and I Pulliam to have a miscarriage when she was pregnant. This is what the friend says. She says when Tanya Carroll found out that Keisha was pregnant, Tanya was very upset because she wanted Ed to leave Keisha. Ed and Tanya apparently were kicking it while Ed was still married to Keisha. Of course, Ella Grace was born and now Ed wants joint custody after saying the baby wasn't his and that he wasn't paying child support. At KRB.com, Chris Brown refuses to leave Karuchi Tran alone according to a report, damn the restraining order. And does Malia Obama have a type? See the pic, got it for you at KRB.com. Thanks for checking out Tony's T for Smooth R&B 105.7. I'm Tony Scott.